Hello, fight fans. In today's news, Alexander Volkanovsky shares hilarious skit on his Instagram. Alex Pereira's manager confirms Alex won't fight at UFC Brazil. Michael Chandler aims for Max Holloway for the BMF title after he wins against Connor this summer. Daniel Cormier blames Herb Dean for Jamal Hill's loss at UFC 300. Alexander Volkanovsky shared another hilarious skit on his Instagram. Mate, you're doing it wrong. You do it then. And that'd be a smart ass, mate. I'll sort you out. I used to be a UFC world champion. Yeah, sure you did, mate. Mate, I'm telling you. Yeah, so like I said, I was a UFC champ, and I thought, you know what, I want another belt. So I went to go for a champ champ against uh, Islam Makhachev. Yeah, much bigger than me, a division above, Dagestani wrestler. Everyone thought I was mad. They thought, you got no chance, mate. And yeah, mate, you should have seen it. it was one of the best fights you will ever see. Nah, mate, it's not the point, mate. They, I got robbed, I got robbed, but it's not the point. You feel such an athlete. Why are you eating him meat yeah, pie, mate? Once I lost 13 kilos in 11 days. 11 day notice I got, 13 kilos. Working hard to make a living. Defending my UFC title against this uh, jiu-jitsu specialist. Everyone thought if he gets put in a submission, he's done. There's no way. And I got put in the deepest guillotine you'll ever see. The whole world stopped. They thought there's no way. It's game over. Game over. He's tapping. He's going to sleep. I just kept going, pulled through, and then got on top and just gave it to him, mate. You should have seen it. Incredible. Mate, did you see that BMF right the other night? Oh, mate, yeah, BMF. Bless Holloway, mate. Pulling at the ground, let's go. Last 10 seconds, knock him out, mate. I beat that bloke three times. Well, you fellas don't believe me, do you? Here, I'll show you, I've got proof. My phone's dead. But anyway, I've got a rematch to worry about. I'm gonna go do some training. Where's he going? Stop's not even done. Alex Pereira's manager announced that Pereira will not be able to compete at UFC 301 in Brazil. Despite Pereira's desire to fight in the event, his team has confirmed that he won't be able to participate due to a broken toe that requires more than 21 days to fully heal. That won't happen, no way, especially now that he has another broken toe. He has to go to the shipyard and let the dust settle and celebrate the victory. Maybe go to Brazil to watch the event, but no fights for him. I don't think fighting Pereira is a good idea for Aspinall at this moment. We have to see what's going to happen. I think it's still too premature. Aspinall is the interim champion. Why would he risk fighting Alex? I don't think it makes much sense for Aspinall. I don't think it's a good idea for Tom. For us, it is a good idea. Alex has the desire, and I'll tell you this. He's going to do an incredible job at heavyweight. He's a super tough fight for anyone in the heavyweight division as well. He's hungry to fight. He says his time is running out, and he wants to achieve the most he can. He's extremely confident, and I think he would shine at heavyweight. Let's see what the UFC has on the table for us, but he won't be fighting in Rio de Janeiro. Michael Chandler has his eyes on Max Holloway for the BMF title after he beats Connor this summer. Here is what he said. Would I fight Max for the BMF belt? Absolutely. I think it's no coincidence now that he and I are ranked closely together in the 155 division. I think Max is a real one. Max embodies the BMF. Max created the most holy shit moment, the most BMF moment that we have ever seen. I would love the opportunity down the line. Obviously, I've got business to take care of in 74 days. If you guys noticed in the lightweight rankings, myself and Max Holloway in the lightweight rankings, we sure are close. There's definitely a lot of people out there who have shared the same sentiment that I have, that I am one of the baddest dudes on the planet. I embody the BMF moniker. Daniel Cormier came with an interesting take about Alex Pereira's KO over Jamal Hill last week. According to Daniel, Herb Dean made a mistake by not separating them after Jamal's illegal strike, which led him to lose focus and get knocked out. Here is what he said. Herb Dean made a mistake, Ben, because while we are all lost in the idea of Herb goes to step in, Alex puts his hand out, Herb steps back. When you have an illegal strike, they are saying that they should have been separated and then they come back together as a fresh restart mm. it didn't happen very short time later alex landed the shot that put jamal yeah, down seconds and knocked him out i mean seconds yeah. after what should have been well, a restart and that wraps up today's news if you enjoyed the content don't forget to hit the like button and smash the subscribe bell to stay in the loop keep supporting the sport and we will see you in the next one